Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Liquor I Don't Even Know Her. We are still in Bogota, Colombia, and we are going to try a beer that just looked really, really good. Now, to be fair, the brewery is in Bogota, but we actually got this in Via de Leva, but you can get it here. This is Pola del Pub. Now, Pola is another name for beer or cerveza. Uh, Pola del Pub is the product line, and this is coffee milk stout. Now, the reason that the label is upside down like this is because this is a nitro, and since it's a nitro, it's meant to have a hard pour, which means you turn it upside down in the glass, pour it like that. Um, there's different ways of doing a hard pour. I've heard there's different ways of doing a hard pour. We're gonna do it the way we know how. If you have a problem with that, well, that's just too bad. So the line, La Pola del Pub, is from El Irish Pub. Yeah, El Irish Pub, I don't, I, that's, that's just what they're called. And so the founders, Bernie Silberwasser, Tomas Delfino, and Charlie Suarez founded El Irish Pub in Bogota in 2001. Now, initially they founded the Bogota Beer Company, but they sold it to Anheuser-Busch, which is the largest brewery in the world. In 2020, La Pola del Pub was founded as a microbrewery to sell beer from El Irish Pub. So this, this guy is, let's see, we have a 5.7% by volume alcohol. So it says that this is black beer with vanilla, coffee, and chocolate notes with sweet and a, a sweet and creamy finish. Uh, it contains lactose and caffeine, so obviously if it has coffee, it's gonna have caffeine, and, I, and if it has milk, it's gonna have lactose. They give, uh, on a bitterness scale, they give it a two out of five. Uh, for drinkability being easy to complex, they give it a three out of five. They say to enjoy it alone or with smoked meats or chocolate cake. And again, they, they specify that for the nitro effect, you wanna serve it to the center from the glass with strength, whatever that means. Uh, and it should be served between four and six degrees Celsius. And I don't have my Celsius thermometer here, so I'm not sure exactly what the temperature is of either the beer or the room. We're just gonna kind of wing it. Now, again, uh, you don't have to worry when you're doing a hard pour with nit uh, nitrogen because nitrogen are tinier bubbles. And so it's not like you're gonna have the head foaming off all over the top of the glass. So let's go ahead and give this a start. Nice smell. That's like lumpy. Well, lots of bubbles in there. Very dark, can't see through that. All right, let's give this a shot. Salud. I'm just getting foam right now. Oh my God. I got that coffee taste right off the bat. In the foam, it tastes like I'm, I'm eating um, coffee beans. All right, let's get down to the beer. There's a slight bitterness to it. Uh, they give it a two out of five as far as bitterness goes uh, because of the hops. So two out of five. Yeah, I can see that. It's not as sweet as some stouts are. The coffee comes through really, really strong. I'm not getting the vanilla so much. And I am getting that cocoa taste. Um, and that one's that one's subtle as well. So this one maybe is slightly more bitter than your typical stout. It's really good. 5.7%, uh, it's not gonna kill you. Um, that's a really good drinking beer. It's a good dessert beer, and it's a good beer for making a beer float. So yeah, that's gonna get a big thumbs up from me. This is really, really good. They have uh, other uh, beers as well. Maybe we'll try some of those, but they're coffee milk stout. Big thumbs up, uh, gets my endorsement, and uh, I'm gonna be able to finish this with no problem. It is now Trippy Food Beer Night. So, uh, if you decide to get this, again, don't know if you can get it in the States, but if you get down to Columbia to try it, and you should, uh, you can get it on tap at El Irish Pub. You can buy it at most uh, liquor stores, I believe, uh, in, certainly in the Bogota area, uh, but all over Colombia because we got it in Vieta Leva. Uh, but give it a try. And if you get down here, just remember that it's crazy out there. So please be careful. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon.
Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.